A White County couple behind bars tonight accused of shooting a man and stealing his car. The sheriff's office says it happened along Kinsett Road this morning. Fox 16's Rochelle Turner following the story all day and joins us live from the sheriff's office with more on the arrests and what happened, Rochelle. Well, Kevin Dunn, a good evening to you. That stolen car and those suspects, 24-year-old Jake Brown and 21-year-old Carissa Miller, were found in Jackson County. Tonight, they're facing a number of charges here at the White County Detention Center. Today, I spoke to several people in the small town of Kensett. They say it's always quiet. They could have remembered the last time something bad happened. And today, they said they were shocked to learn what had happened. Old Kinsett Road in Kinsett. I travel this road every day, sometimes six or seven times a day. The road sits between Kinsett and Jetsonia. It was turned into a crime scene Wednesday morning. Hearing that is very shocking. The White County Sheriff's Office says a man stopped to help Jake Brown and Carissa Miller on the side of the road. Officials say the man was shot and his car was stolen. I've been here 41 years and I've never heard of anything like that ever happening. I mean, because usually you can stop and help somebody and nothing like that will happen to you. So that's very shocking. The man was taken to a hospital in Searcy. I'm praying for him and his family. Officials say OnStar located the stolen car in Jackson County. Somebody just being selfless and careless had nothing else to do. Christy Chapman has called Kins at home for over 40 years and says everyone knows each other. We help anybody, whether it's a stranger, somebody you know, we help anybody. For now, she says she's going to be careful when it comes to helping others. In the daytime, I would probably, if I don't know you, I'm not going to stop to help you. And I hate to be like that, but nowadays you just don't know. Now, Brown is facing a number of charges, including criminal intent to commit capital murder, aggravated robbery, and possession of a firearm. Miller is facing charges of conspiracy to commit capital murder and also aggravated robbery. They're set to appear in court later this year. Hmm. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about the victim. How's, how's he doing tonight? What's, what's going on there? Well, Donna, I spoke to the sheriff about five minutes ago. He told me the victim who they have now uh, released his name as Jeffrey Burton of Heber Springs. He told me he was shot in the head and tonight he's lucky to be alive. But the sheriff said he did not know if Burton was still at the hospital at this hour. Okay. All right. Rochelle Turner in White County. Thank you.